Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, happy Easter for those of you who celebrate. Uh, for those of you who don't, it's just another Sunday. Just want to go over something really quick that's been aggravating me about this car, and I don't know why I, I couldn't figure it out sooner. As soon as I figured it out, I kind of uh, decided that this is worth making a quick video about because I'm sure there's other people out there who might have questions about it down the road. Um, but uh, the M3 comes with uh, the iDrive system, or in the M vehicles, it's called M Drive. There's no difference between this system and the system in a normal, you know, 3 series or 5 series or 7 series. They're all the same. The only difference is you can configure some engine parameters in this, but that's it. Uh, it's hardware. It's the software. That's it. Um, but one thing that I've seen a lot of debates about is whether the iDrive systems can stream Bluetooth audio from the phone. Obviously, you can make phone calls and all that other stuff, uh, but what I'm talking about is uh, enabling the AD... To P, e to DP, can't think of the correct order right now off the top of my head, that allows you to stream music from a smartphone or any Bluetooth enabled device onto the M drive. Um, and what I was seeing on the M drive system was when I went to CD Multimedia, there's a little icon right there. Now it says not connected. Um, however, my phone is connected. So these are all my contacts. Okay, all of them. I can make a phone call if I wanted to. Um, no problems. So what I've been trying to figure out is why um, I'm not able to stream music from the phone, even though it's very, even though the system is very capable of doing so. Well, I feel kind of stupid about this because usually I'm pretty good with technology and I'm I'm able to figure stuff out. But I just figured this out and I, I kind of determined that uh, this might be worth making a video just to go over real quick because I'm sure there might be other people out there who might have the same questions or problems. So what you're going to need to do is first go back to menu. You want to go to CD Multimedia. Uh, so you get this main CD Multimedia screen. You'll see CD and the car killed it on me. Okay, there we go. You'll see CD, DVD, music collection, external devices, tone, Bluetooth, audio. On external devices, that's where I was before. You're going to want to go to Bluetooth audio. And then that's my iPhone right there. Now what I'm going to do is hit option, which is this button right there. And it brings me to this uh, secondary screen. The next thing you want to do is configure phone. And you're going to have two options. Telephone, which is by default enabled. But what I'm going to want, what I'm going to want to select is also audio. So you hit OK. And now it will do both. See how both those icons are now illuminated? The phone as well as the uh, little music icon. So the next thing I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go to CD Multimedia. Well, CD Multimedia, alright, I'm going to go to External Devices, I'm going to select my iPhone. Now, it doesn't read the information off of the iPhone, unfortunately. Uh, you can use the steering wheel controls to fast forward or backtrack uh, or select the next track in the album or playlist, but honestly, you're going to have to select the music that you want to play um, from the iPhone. It's just the way that it works, so let's say I want to play a little Childish uh, Gambino. Freaks and Geeks. See? It's streaming from the phone via Bluetooth, which is awesome, onto the M Drive system. And I gotta be honest with you, the, uh, the audio is amazing. It actually sounds better than wired. Oh, one other thing I did want to point out on the iPhone real quick. Let's just say, for whatever reason, you wanted to switch to your iPhone real quick, so it's iPhone audio only. There's a little blue thing that's illuminated right there, a little button. It's not really a button on an iPhone, but, you know, you're going to hit it, and then it'll see uh, BMW 68954, which is my car, or iPhone. So you can switch audio on it. You know, just a little thing that I figured out today. 
Uh, my mom's iPhone was pairing with the car, but mine wasn't, and I didn't know why. So figured it out. Uh, for those of you out there who uh, have been having issues, uh, go through the same steps that I did. I'm sure if you have a BlackBerry, an iPad, any Bluetooth should work. Definitely try it out, and next videos are coming up.